that's good plastic explosive. <laughs> when they find your ashes, they'll think it's me. And I'll be far away with my loving family. It's the perfect crime. Wait a moment. Now we lie in wait. Like hungry Cassius for noble Caesar. A mechanic. We shall meet again, old friend. <gasps> Those are my shows. Art, if I wanted to kill you, I'd have choked you like a chicken as soon as I walked in that door. <gasps> then what kind of a guest would I have been? <laughs> <laughs> but tonight, I will taste the sweet nectar of vengeance. <laughs> Sorry to divert your attention from all the big noises and shiny things, but something's been troubling me lately. Television. And I'm the one in prison. So alive. And it feels wonderful. Thank you, Raphael. Now, this is a ticklish question, but... You want to live in the box? Cost you two bucks a day. Oh, thank you, kind innkeeper. Uh, thought I could get it while it was in the recharger. You says pimples! Secondly, the prison book club consists mainly of prisoners who club me with books. Oh, honestly. At Chino, they get to stay up till nine. Oh, I, I never planned to escape. You see, this is a, a kamikaze mission. You and I are going to kill Krusty the Clown. Hey, no fair. You got long legs. I got these little bitty hooves. <laughs> these glorious gunboats. How ironic. My crusade against television has rid this city of television within two hours. I will detonate it. Oh. Just a dream. I can't do it. Well, why not? Well, I guess I've, dear God, grown accustomed to your face. This is one more enemy than you'll ever win, you bantering jack in the box. Oh, come now. As gentlemen, surely we can just agree to... Yes, God! Sorry. Fair enough. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but now that we know what it can do, there's no need to. Uh, oh. mm. Now, my little hypno assassin, your cue to attack will be when Krusty says, I've never had such a great audience. One, existence is suffering. Two, the cause of suffering is desire. Come now, we've been through so much together. Just call me Bob. This is annoying. This guy is a national treasure. Selma, dear, I'm confused. Selma, I don't know what to say. Selma, this wedding is spinning out of control. Can we really afford it? Of all the people you have known, who might have reason to do you in? Carrot for my presbyopia. Brahma bull for strength. And a touch of corn for highlights on my hair. Front desk! There's been a terrible accident in my room. Our time is passing, old friend. They're all ugly because you're in them! Ah, oh, yes, the quickie mart. I haven't been here since I robbed it dressed as crusty. Now, how about those impressionists? <laughs> ah, Mr. Simpson. Selma, that's wonderful. That was a well-plotted piece of non-claptrap that never made me want to wrench. Well, that was part of it. Surely there's no harm in laying in the middle of a public street. <laughs> Carefully withdraw. <laughs> oh, really? Now that's too much. I have a family membership. I believe you know my position. Well, you see, Birch, I'm presently incarcerated. Hello, children. Hello, Bart. Eep. Very well, Bart. I shall send you to heaven before I send you to hell. Bart and I used to go fly fishing together. Yes, thank you. Just call me Slide Show Bob. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, yes, yes. You crave my skillful touch. Now go, take the boy and shut the door. I'll rock your world anon. <laughs> Simpson! You're all going to die just because you watched a television commercial. So sorry, Mr. Simpson, your house is blocking construction of our new Matlock Expressway. <laughs> and just look how happy he is. <laughs> and then I went and spoiled it all by doing something stupid like explode you. Non più drive, far fallone, amoroso. 
the boy bands of the art world. But for you, Lisa, I shall face the Renoir with sangfroid. Grazie. No, no. I must steal away into the night. Quest is on me, amici, Simpson. None of this seems odd to you. I'm working on a bust of Krusty and using this knife to aerate the clay. Am I right, folks? Motion granted. Release the prisoner. Farewell, Simpsons. You know, you'll make some murderer very happy one day. But it shan't be me. You're gonna wanna wake up Jeb. Please, no problemo. Oh, right. I gave myself gills. They return to America, taking with them my gratitude, my friendship, and my heartfelt wish. That they never return. Who used my chapstick? Oh, I did. Here you go. I don't want it. What I am saying is, I could be tipped into a murderous rage by the slightest provocation. Wait a minute. That's no good. Hello. Oh. And Lisa, when you're older, write an autobiographical novel trashing the rest of them. I Lucifer's beard! No children have ever meddled with the Republican Party and lived to tell about it. Who am I kidding? My only exit is a final one. No, I did not. I never stopped plotting my revenge. <laughs> Anyone for peppermint tea? Now I am a fair man. You will have 72 hours to vacate. At that time, we will blow up your house and any remaining Simpsons. I beg of you. Please don't destroy the new life I've created here. Surely even the most heinous criminal deserves a seventh chance. I can't undo the past, but I can try to make it up to you. My humble little town is at your service. As Shakespeare said, if it were done when it is done, then twere best it were done quickly. Power on! You little scamp. <laughs> Mia Yamichi, we are here to honor my old friends, the Simpsons. Tomorrow and now, mangiate! I'm Wes Dubner. Shut up! Now, since last we met, you shall all perish in a tragic accident caused by a defective laptop battery that will overheat, then explode, setting off this TNT. Yes, I'm sure you've studied the immortal bard extensively under your Miss Hoover. Come on, Wikipedia! Load, you unwieldy behemoth! Sideshow Bob, hoist on his own petard! I'd say that less whining ought to do more thinking and less whining. Young friends, my opponent, Joe Quimby, is confused about your school system. Do you know what he does? He flip-flops. Sometimes he doesn't know whether he's coming or going. He wants to sell your future short. Terribly myopic of me to blame all my current woes on one spiky-haired little simpleton. Mm hmm myopic, or to say the least, intransigent. Now, you mentioned some woes there. Convicted of a crime I didn't even commit. <laughs> attempted murder. Now, honestly, what is that? Do they give a Nobel Prize for attempted chemistry, do they? Oh, really, now, this is a personal call. No. Indeed I am. Enough! Lies, lies, lies! I did it! I did it all! <gasps> there! Is that what you want, you smarmy little bastards? We want the truth! You want the truth? You can't handle the truth! No truth handler, you! Bah! I deride your truth handling abilities! Will you get to the point? Yes! Only I could have executed such a masterpiece of electoral fraud. And I have the records to prove it! Here, just look at these! Each one a work of Machiavellian art! Because you need me, Springfield. Your guilty conscience may force you to vote Democratic, but deep down inside you secretly long for a cold-hearted Republican to lower taxes, brutalize criminals, and rule you like a king. That's why I did this! To protect you from yourselves! Now, if you don't mind, I have a city to run. Bailiffs, place the mayor under arrest. What? Oh, yes. All that stuff I did. Take care, Snake. May the next time we meet be under more felicitous circumstances. Nice of you to think of me. However, S.B. could be anyone. Scott Bayo. 
the Sultan of Brunei, the former Polish secret police, the Schwarzbarbestrenzba. Or... We'll stay here for a while, Vern. <laughs> what next? Protocubists? The Pointillist? Or the alleged art of itchy and scratchy? Well, at first, just a peptide here and there. Art Simpson? <laughs> the spirited little scamp who twice foiled my evil schemes and sent me to this dank, urine-soaked hellhole. Wait, I've got a good one now. Marge, say, stay away from my son again. No! Can't <laughs> escape me. I've got grasshopper thighs and the sonar of a killer whale. <laughs> Finley! <laughs> well put. Thank you. <laughs> Answer the question. Well, there is something I should have told you. But the biggest part was that... Taste Praxiteles of Athens! I'll be back. You can't keep the Democrats out of the White House forever. And when they get in, I'm back on the streets with all my criminal buddies. Krusty, can you ever forgive me for framing you and putting you in jail? You're forgetting the first two noble truths of the Buddha. Yes, I hope the police are saying that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Come to an end so formulaic. It could have spewed from the power book of the laziest Hollywood hack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And one more thing. I've stolen a nuclear weapon. By the way, I'm aware of the irony of appearing on TV in order to decry it, so don't bother pointing that out. Wait, I must know. How did you loosen the tiles of my mosaic of murder? Oh, why must I feed him straight lines? You will run up and hug him blowing each of you to smithereens. These are from the new Tom Clancy, although it's less painful than reading him. Marvelous, marvelous. Funny till the end. Moment of silence. Well, it's my show now. Oh, can it, you tiresome tot sitter. I was the risible one in our dyad. No, I haven't. Go ahead, shock me. Now I will need round-the-clock access to all the Simpsons, especially Bart. Ah, for the days when aviation was a gentleman's pursuit. Back before every Joe sweat sock could wedge himself behind a lunch tray and jet off to Raleigh Durham. Homer, in order to identify your assailant, I must follow you through the course of a normal day. Just do what you usually do, and the killer will reveal himself. That was a big mistake, Bart. <laughs> <laughs>